So I'm here at the Chestnut Knob uh, shelter. This is day 150. It is Monday, December 7th of 2020. It stayed fairly warm in here, even though the fireplace is not usable. Uh, there's a really good view of Birch Garden from up here, but unfortunately, over the course of the night, This is how it turned out. It's cleared up a little compared to what it was when I first got up. It's right at 11. I got up a little after 9. But that would be a good view spot. But no view today. So I've got everything pretty much packed up. I just got to find the trail. <laughs> And then I'm hiking to the, uh, uh, there was a Bear Garden Hiker Hostel, I believe. I saw a sticker. I don't remember, but yeah, I think Bear Garden Hiker Hostel. Uh, it's 11 miles, and we have a stream crossing. The bridge is out. So I'm hoping it's not too deep. The last comment from a month ago said it was shin deep, but we've had some rain and some snow since then, so... Uh, I got my waterproof socks on, my shoes will be wet, and I'm going to a hostel, so I may just go across it, but we'll figure that out when we get there, but it's going to be an interesting day. So I'm leaving the shelter, it's up there, it took me a minute to find where the trail went, I didn't see the post, but... Now I have located it. And we are trotting off into the white unknown. Like a coyote or something was strolling through here. <sighs> this would be interesting if uh, I'm kind of following a I guess it was two coyotes, two dogs, canines of some sort. It looks like we're following an old forest road or some sort. If the trail splits off, I may not see it. White blazes and snow. Huh. It's kind of pretty though. We'll see how this turns out for the day. It's like a small pond there if you want to go ice skating. Uh, 
There's the blaze on the post. Looks like a trail that way, looks like a trail that way, and looks like a trail that way. Yeah, this is going to be a fun day. Now this would probably be an open field. But it's a, a hazy field today. So far the waterproof socks are working out alright. I stepped in a water hole that was about boot deep a few minutes ago. And my feet seem to be dry. And I think we're still on the trail. That's going to be the challenge of the day. Staying on the trail. It was tempting to just stay at the shelter, but the hostel with a warm shower and heat for the night seemed worth the trek. As long as we can make it there, I'll probably be relying on my gut hooks today. Make sure I haven't strayed so far. I don't think it'll be that difficult to follow for the most part. It's just going to be spots here or there to be questionable. And I'm following some trail at the moment anyway. I can always follow my footsteps back. I don't see no blazes on that post either. If I don't see one shortly, I'll check my gut hooks. But I'm pretty sure I'm on the right path. It's supposed to get really cold tonight. And tomorrow night, so I'm thinking about a zero at the hostel. Then after that, it's supposed to warm up for about four or five days, so. They just have no blazes on them. Got a little bit bigger pond there. That one doesn't look to be froze. It's starting to snow again. Got nine and a half miles to go. We've been about two miles so far. My gut hooks can't make up his mind on the elevation. He told me when I was at the shelter, it was 2,100 foot elevation ascent. And now that I've walked two miles, it's telling me it's 2,400 foot of ascent. So 
So, whatever. I'm mostly worried about this uh, lick skillet creek or whatever that the bridge is washed out on. I crossed some bear tracks a while ago. At first I thought it was footprints, uh, shoe prints. I come out and went across the trail. And it was just the way it, the bear had drug his foot. And the snow made it look, there's a couple of bear tracks that was distinguishable as a bear track. It's not super cold feeling. The watch says it's 27 degrees. But it always seems while it's snowing that it's warmer. I guess the moisture in the air, I don't know. It's once it all stops and decides to freeze or you run into a limb and dump snow all over you. Wonderful. If I was not going to the hostel, I would not be wearing my hoodie. I would have probably worn my rain jacket. Or possibly put the rain jacket over the hoodie. Because the hoodie will get wet. I'd probably wear my rain pants over my wool leggings. But, since the intention is to be indoors, I wasn't too worried about it. Now, if for some reason I don't make it to the indoors, that could become a problem, but... I have a my dry puffy and so dry socks. So I'd be alright either way I believe. I hope I got the lens cleared off enough you can see. But the snow's not as deep here. I've going, been going downhill. But the trail's fairly easy to follow, but it's kind of cool and all this snowy mountain laurel. It feels like it's warmed up a little too. Getting warm even though I'm going downhill. I got uh, the gloves and the glove liners that I bought in Daleville. And they're working nice. Hands are nice and toasty. And the, the waterproof socks are doing the trick too. Uh, I know my left foot should be soaked from stepping in the deep puddle, but it feels dry as a bone, so both my feet are warm and toasty. I guess the old saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad gear. Holds true. But this is quite a nice trek today, even if it is wet and snowy. If it had been 
snowing hard and super windy, I probably would not have left the shelter. I had enough food to get me through for a day or so. There's no water, but I could have collected snow. It was above freezing in the shelter, none of my water bottles froze, so. And there was a partial can of fuel there. So I had options. But it wasn't high winds and snowing this morning, so southward. I so I had to cross this little creek here. There was really no way to keep my feet out of the water, so I got a good test of the waterproof socks. And you can feel the outside of the sock get wet. You can feel the cold. But the inside is nice and warm or dry. So success. Dry happy feet. I got Six and a half miles left to the hostel, make an excellent time. Ever since we got in the field, the trail's kind of been like this. Oh, well, since we got out of the field. We've been cruising right along. Now we got about a mile to Lick Creek which is the one the bridge is out on. We might get a little more wet on that one. We'll see when we get there. Oh, we made it to uh, Lick Creek. That says bridge is closed. Um, yeah, I would imagine so. But it doesn't look like it's all that deep, so... Yeah, could you imagine the day that washed out? I'm gonna try to find... The shallowest spot. And kind of prance across. And hopefully, it won't get over the top of my socks too much. But I don't know. Might get a little water seepage in, but that's part of it, I guess. I know right there it'd be over my socks. I think you're probably going to get wet anyway, to some degree. So we'll just try to make it as quick as possible. Oh boy. I just know it's going to be cold. <laughs> I don't see a better place. Oh well, procrastinated about it long enough. We gotta go for it. Woo! I 
definitely, I can't tell. Because it feels like your feet's wet regardless of the uh, shoes full of water. But my feet are not cold, so. We'll take that. You feel the water squishing out of the outer layer of the sock and the shoe. May have gotten a little in the sock, but I don't think it's that much. We've got about five more miles, so it's not too horrible for damp feet, I guess. We'll know when we get to the hostel and take the socks off how wet the sock liners are. But my feet do not really feel wet, so hopefully it didn't let that much water in. Cool. I'm digging the waterproof socks so far. I had a decent little uphill climb. It was a uh, kind of went around a valley and a mountain. It took a little effort, but not a, a ton. I was just starting to get warm at the top. I had to slide my shirt and hoodie sleeves up to my elbows. Cool off some. But now I'm back flat. Have less than four miles to go, and it's 2:30, so I should get there well before dark. Just I called them from the chestnut shelter last night, make sure they were open and had a spot, <clears throat> and told them I'd get there a little before dark. I knew it was supposed to snow tonight, so I wasn't going to be in too big a hurry to get out of camp. But even considering it hasn't been a bad day. And I do believe even though the socks are completely underwater my feet are at least 95% dry. They're Baltero waterproof socks, I believe. I know it starts with a B. Now they make them, they go up over your shin to your knee, and that would be the perfect one to have for the winter time. But at the time, the outfitter I just had like the calf length instead of the over the calf that goes up to your knee. If I had the knee high ones, then I would have been completely good because the water never got above my calf. But I've had soaking wet socks and shoes in the past, not on this trip, but other trips. And I can definitely tell the difference. My foot's a little bit colder than it was, but it's still warm enough. So yeah, happy with those. I think we got this downhill stretch and then there's one more uphill 
and then a downhill to the hostel. This would be a wonderful finish for the day. This is the Knot Mall shelter. Pretty typical, about like all the other shelters I stayed in. It just has the cutest little picnic table. Look at that. That's, that's not bad though. Probably going to stop here for just a minute. And, Take a short break, maybe look at the logbook and move on. I think we got like two miles or something. So, almost done for the day. So, we started uphill from the <clears throat> shelter and back into some snow. It's not snowing, this is just what was here. We have it was 1.9 miles from the shelter. I've probably been a half a mile or so. A mile and a half or less. It's been a good day though, considering. Even though everything's froze and wet. No complaints. My gear has worked exactly like I hoped, so warm and dry. You gotta love these switchbacks. Not much for views today. I don't know. It's strange, but it's a great day to be out in the woods. <laughs> if I'd have been at home in my warm bed, I wouldn't have gotten up to come out into this. But I guess that's the thing about through hiking. It makes you hike and whether you otherwise would not. That may have been it for the uphill. I always have this level and then downhill to the hostel. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm on the downhill stretch. Probably less than half a mile to go. It's starting to snow again. Not big flakes, just a little bitty, not much more than sleet really. The watch says it's 32 degrees. The lowest temperature I saw was 28 degrees. And that's when we were at a higher elevation. And the highest I saw was 34, but it hasn't been cold, or I haven't been cold. Uh, I've worn my hoodie the entire day. This is the, and I don't feel there's any sweat on my back. I only got warm going up the one hill, so this is the second day on trail. 
I've worn my hoodie all day and the last time was in Maine. So I suppose it's cold, but my gear kept me warm. I took the outer layer gloves off. I'm just wearing the glove liners. My hands was getting a little warm. So I'm thinking my gear would keep me warm in the teens with the wind. And I still think that is the case. I have not tried it out. I hope I don't have to. But I know how it goes. <laughs> Uh, overall, not a bad day. Uh, my battery died on me before it kicks out again. I just came off the trail here into this parking area. And the hostel is right up here on the left. The red bunkhouses. So that's it. We didn't get lost on the trail because of heavy snow and have a warm place to sleep tonight. Thanks for watching.